So if you have gone to Charleston or you're going and you take a gazillion photographs like I did, I wanted to give you an idea of how those photos can turn into a reference photo for your artwork. Here is my board that is ready to go. I want you to see what this is, really. See, it is a cradled panel. Okay, I got that at Blick. And here's my palette that I actually have left over from my white iris um, lesson. Uh, go look at that if you haven't already. Sketch your image in Vine Charcoal. You're going to brush off the excess, or in my case, I used a paper towel. Uh, I'm laying in the background. Now, this is fast, loose. I'm leaving some of that background uh, to show through. It's going to add a lot of warmth to it. Uh, that is just kind of the first layer I'm putting in there. Now I'm sketching in those live oaks. These trees get layered. The foliage, I'm not painting leaves. I'm painting clumps of color. So don't let trees intimidate you. Break it down into kind of loose clumps of color. You'll see how this progresses. Um, I'll develop darker darks and lighter lights, and I'll have those little um, light holes that, that come through uh, the trees. You know, it's just a matter of layering color. Look at your photo and see how dark those darks need to be and how light. Now I'm laying in the stucco. Again, I want that background to show through. Now, do you see those perspective lines in the architecture? Those accurate perspective lines are more important than straight lines. Uh, good perspective is what separates the amateurs from the pros. So if you can learn perspective, which I will be putting out videos on that, um, that's what's really going to, to help your drawing. So at this point, if you're a beginner, um, just keep in mind that, that those lines uh, should, should be accurate to the photo. They don't have to be straight lines, but um, getting that perspective right matters. Now, laying in shadows, laying in the lighter color, um, there's a lot of reflected color in this. Um, I'm making sure to let that background show. It's supposed to be rough. It's supposed to be energetic. If you'll let the brush strokes um, be loose, I, your painting will have so much more energy and vibrancy than if you try to, you know, shut it down and, and be very perfect about everything. This type of painting is so much fun. This is not a plein air painting, but it is done in the plein air style. Uh, just hinting at details in those shutters. Hinting at that balustrade. You know, it's not really even that close to the real thing. I'm just trying to, um, to indicate that the iron scroll work up there. It kind of has the flow that I saw in the picture, but I'm not trying to absolutely recreate it. Okay, so there I'm laying in some of the background for that foliage. Your background should be reds, reds, purples, oranges uh, under the, the green foliage. It'll make it look a lot more realistic.
building another layer on that stucco, working out the perspective on that shutter. and building layers of color. You know, your, your dark shadow of black should contain all the colors. Uh, make those blacks really interesting. You know, purples and reds and greens and blues. A little bit of reflection there in the window of the sky. Building, building, building. And I'm analyzing. I'm adding brighter reflected colors in areas. Darker shadows in areas. I can't help but get my fingers in there. Uh, some of those lines I thought were, were too harsh. I'm trying to keep it nice and loose. So sometimes I'll take my finger or my brush and I will intentionally mess up lines just to soften them up and add energy to the painting. So those live oaks now are really coming together back there. Adding some highlights over that dark back green background, coming over with some brighter brights. There were red caladiums in there. It looked like some nasturtium and and some bright orange flowers. Layer, layer, layer. Sunlight's just hitting a few of those. My paintings and reproductions are available for sale. You can see my contact information below. Okay, um, I have added my signature. I've added some highlights in the, um, the foliage. There was some variegated ivory uh, or ivy that I wanted to bring out a little bit more of that white. I put some touches of highlights on uh, the ironwork and a little bit on the windows where that would be in sunlight. You can support this channel for free by hitting the like button and subscribing. Thank you.